A long-standing system of rent controls, absentee landlords and years of neglect have led to the decline of one of Cairo's historic districts, Darb al Ahmar. Abdullah Hassan traces the effort to rebuild this area through an innovative housing initiative that is slowly transforming this section of Cairo. Al-Azhar Park is an oasis overlooking historic Cairo's many minarets and domes. Just downhill from the park is the bustling area of Darb al-Ahmar. This historic neighborhood is a labyrinth of alleyways, mosques, and old facades. Behind me is the restored 12th century Ayyubid wall that surrounded ancient Cairo. On the other side of this wall is the poor and working class neighborhood of Darb al-Ahmar. The antiquities laws barred residents who lived along the wall from repairing their homes or building new ones. City planners decided the only way to preserve the wall was to force residents out. They used antiquities laws to halt any repair or reconstruction of apartment buildings. That, they believed, would force long-term tenants to flee the dilapidated neighborhood. This was the law here, and that deprived a lot of people from spending money or even investing in their houses or whatever, even starting new businesses, because it's all it's going to be in vain, you know. But with rent-controlled apartments, few tenants could afford to leave. The Aga Khan Trust for Culture, which developed Al-Azhar Park, stepped in. The trust set up a fund to help the community rebuild. This building on Darbashoglan Street was in such poor condition, it was demolished and built anew. The Aga Khan Trust pays 70% of the cost of restoration. Tenants pay the remaining 30%. Aisha's share came to 12,000 Egyptian pounds. Nadia is Aisha's upstairs neighbor. Three families lived on each floor of this tenement, built against the Ayyubid wall. Each floor had a shared bathroom. In the redesign of this century-old building, each apartment has its own bathroom. Site engineer Mohammed Abdel Sattar says residents now expect more. موضوع صرف الغسالة الفول أوتوماتيك وتوصيلة الغسالة الفول أوتوماتيك دي مش موجودة في أي بيت ربنا بس الناس كلها بتطلب لما بنيجي نشتغل في البيت إن هو هيجيب غسالة وبيجيبه غسالة فول أوتوماتيك جديدة معه فهو فكره عن البيت نفسه بيختلف. Before construction work can even start, there are the bureaucratic challenges of dealing with authorities and local officials. And negotiations with landlords and tenants may take several months to a couple of years. هي حتى علاقات داخلية ما بين الناس أنت مشترك في حلها. فهو الموضوع مش موضوع بقى إن أنت مهندس وشغلك بقى هو technical. لا ده هو technical وsocial وساعات بيبقى legal وسا يعني في يوم إحنا بنضيف الاسم. Without revitalization efforts like these, Darb al Ahmar could have been a living testament to the blight of urban decay. Instead, it's a catalyst for change. If you start to upgrade an area with that many houses, perhaps you can start to get people later to come in who are willing to invest. Now, I can tell you it's been difficult to get outside investors, but you combine it with a park, restoration of monuments, and 200 new houses, then people might start to look at this area a bit differently. And residents here are also beginning to think differently about the future of their community. Abdullah Hassan for AUC-TV, Cairo.